Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in and coming back, all that stuff. Appreciate it and hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you may be. Um, I got a question recently about the new Accent AI version 2 or 2.0 that's in Luminar 3. Um, because it's uh, AI, as the name implies, artif I can't even say it, artificial intelligence based. It does a lot of things where it figures that it out on, your, on its own and as you drag the slider, it auto adjusts. I did a video about Accent AI version 2, Accent AI version 2. You can see it there. Um, but the question was, hey, how does that compare to Photolemur? Because if you remember Photolemur, and I did a video about Photolemur uh, version 3 when it came out, which is right there, um, Photolemur is also an AI based uh, tool. Now it's more of an automatic tool, whereas uh, Accent AI is a filter that's built into Luminar where you have a whole lot of other things that you can do. So. They're, they not kind of they do address different audiences. They're also at very different price points. Photolemur, I believe, sells for thirty-five dollars. Luminar sells for seventy uh, list price. And with my coupon code Gymnix, you can get ten dollars off. Get it for sixty. Um, but what's the difference, right? Because they both sound like AI, you know, magic, right, or whatever. So let's just take a look and uh, jump into some photos, and I'll compare the same photo in each product. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here's the first photo, and I've got it. Uh, these are just JPEGs, right? I've got the exact same JPEG loaded in Photolemur as I do in the quick edit panel here in Luminar 3. So, Accent uh, AI filter 2.0 all the way to the right. Oh, and by the way, I should say I've got five photos, and they're five photos shot in different conditions. So, this is like a cloudy day, I got a regular sunny day, I got like a sunset, I got like a blue hour kind of night shot, and then I got a portrait. So, I'm gonna compare them all. So, here we go. Let me just jack that up all the way to 100, and let me go get Photolemur, and let me get the same photo, they're in different order, and compare it. So here we go. There's the before and the after. I'll just go like that, and that's at 100%. And by the way, um, there's a couple of other things that are built into Photolemur that will be helpful on the portrait photo, and that is eye enlargement and face enhancement, both of which are built into Photolemur are not included in Luminar. However, I'm gonna do um, each photo at 100% or slider all the way to the right. So there's that and there's that. And I gotta be honest, like, I don't know if I can tell much of a difference, if any. Actually, I can. It's a little bit brighter here in the center of the photo in Luminar with Accent AI 2.0 and not quite as bright there. But, you know, again, it depends on what you're looking for. Photolemur is really designed for those of us that don't want to take the time or don't have the time to try to get professional results um, with professional investment of time and skill and learning and all that stuff. In other words, you want to get good looking photos without taking a whole lot of time to do it. It works really well on a lot of types of photos. There are some types of photos where I personally think you just need to do other stuff, which is um, why if you were to ask me, my preference would be Luminar simply because I love to edit photos, it's what I do, and um, Luminar has tools for that. Anyway, I don't wanna get off topic. The point is, with this first photo, shot in kind of hazy daylight conditions, it's a pretty uh, pretty close to a draw, um, a fully loaded at 100 for both, a little brighter in the center there, and I kinda of gotta say, I might would go with the look in photo lemur, however, um, I probably just would not go to 100, I would probably do something like that. And the nice thing is, I have all these other filters that I can go get if I wanted to. So that's a quick one. Let me uh, close that. Uh, let's go to this daytime shot. Here we are in Photolemur. So this is just a shot from Germany. And there are styles you can add, right? We can go in here and pick these different styles. I'm not doing any of that. I'm not messing with that. That's a component of Photolemur, uh, which is basically like a preset. Of course, you can build and or buy presets for Luminar. Um, so similar idea there. I'm not comparing uh, those because uh, I don't see a reason to, to be honest. Um, so, okay, there's your daytime shot. Let me find this same shot here. Uh, where did it go? There it is. Okay, so um, here it is, Accent AI at 100. Okay, that looks pretty good, to be honest. Let me go over here to Photolemur. Yep, uh, I'm noticing, so this is two photos in a row where I'm noticing um, Accent AI 2.0 seems to make the photo a little bit brighter. So, a little bit brighter than that. In this case, in the daytime photo, I think it looks better. So that one in Photolemur, a little bit darker. I think the one here looks a little bit brighter. 
Again, just a sample comparison. And you know, the reason I'm doing this is because they kind of, they're both AI powered. They're both kind of, well not kind of, they both are automatic. It's basically a single slider. Um, but you know, they do a little bit of uh, different things. They both affect, you know, um, well, I should say Accent AI affects things like, uh, you know, tones and some detail and some contrast and some exposure and some little bit of color. And you do a number of uh, similar things like that in Photolemur, but you also get the benefit of like the eye enlargement and the skin. Um, I think it's basically smooth skin a little bit. It does some teeth whitening, um, things like that. Uh, it also does some tint and a little bit of noise reduction automatically. So again, if your photo is really noisy though, I probably would not count on Photolemur to do an excellent job of that personal opinion. Um, this shot, daytime, I think I like the uh, Luminar photo better. Okay, let's move into sunset. Here I am in Photolemur. This is a shot also from Germany. There's a sunset shot down the river. Let me figure out where this is. There it is. And let's get Accent AI to load up and go to 100. There we go. So there's that in Luminar. And here it is in Photolemur. So Photolemur, Sky looks great. The exposure looks great. Uh, you know, again, you can always click on this and go higher or lower if you want, but I'm leaving them both at 100 for comparison. But I think that photo looks great, actually, if you can compare it to the original, right? Fairly dark. The sky looks great. Um, in fact, it, it hardly did anything with the sky or water. I think the colors and the uh, exposure level looks great there. And it brought up a lot of uh, exposure in the buildings, which is where it was dark, right? So let's go over here and look. Same thing, right? So let's do the before and after. The sky and the water are virtually untouched. The street and the buildings look great. So in this case, again, a little bit brighter. So I'm finding that Accent AI 2.0 is gonna be a little bit brighter than Photolemur so far in all three photos. And I actually, I gotta go with Illuminar on this one. Again, a personal preference. Um, but uh, that's, the, uh, that's the story and I'm sticking to it uh, for this one. Um, okay, here we go now. Uh, a night shot, this also from Heidelberg, Germany, uh, kind of dark blue hour-ish kind of look. Let me go over here and see if I can find that one. Um, bear with me while I bring it up. Oops. There we go. Okay. So let's go back and look at Photolemur, right? So it brightened the foreground nicely. Uh, it brightened the sky. It made the blue pop. And yes, the photo's crooked. I told you I didn't do anything to these photos. So um, here we go to 100, it's gonna be brighter. Yep, it's brighter. So I think it's gonna depend on what look you're going for. I like it quite a bit like that, but I think it's a little too bright at 100. And I think the Photolemur version at full um, intensity looks a little bit better because it's not as bright. And my opinion is if you're shooting at night and blue hour, you don't wanna over brighten the photo. Again, this is not uh, saying you can't fix it easily. You just go like that and you say, okay, so maybe, you know, maybe I want to go to 65 in Luminar instead of 100 versus 100 in um, Photolemur. They look about the same to me. Um, again, much more capability in Luminar. This is not a true product comparison in the sense that I'm not saying, hey, should I buy one or the other if you want to do a lot of things to your photo? If you want to edit photos, Luminar, without a doubt, is way more capable than Photolemur. I just wanted to compare the basics of Photolemur, which is that uh, the automatic or artificial intelligence, the automatic adjustment, compared to a single filter in Luminar, which does a similar sort of thing. So here we go. In this case, um, I think having it at 65 in Luminar looks about like it does at 100 here in Photolemur. Uh, so if you're just going based on which one brightens a photo more, that's going to be Luminar versus uh, Photolemur. So at full intensity, out of the gate, Photolemur looked better. Again, I'm not comparing the products because clearly I'm going to choose Luminar if I had to. So here we go, a portrait of a young lady. So um, here we go. Now this is where you're going to get a little bit of the extra benefit where you can't really tell because um, it's just not close. I don't shoot a lot of portraits. Uh, and I was shooting this with a 50 millimeter and in fact it's kind of cropped. But um, her skin I think looks fabulous. Uh, you know, nice and bright and smooth. I think her eyes, like if, I don't know how well you can tell, but her eye, like that eye looks a little bit bigger to me and, so, and then they look brighter and whiter. So I think that looks pretty awesome. Let me get over here and bring up Accent AI and I'll just go to 100. Again, it's gonna be brighter. So let's compare that. 
There she is in all of her glory in photo lemur. I'm just looking at her face and her skin. Um, it's definitely brighter. It's not uh, blown out, but it's brighter. Uh, but I think it looks good. Um, I'm looking at like her face and her neck and that sort of thing. Um, here, let's see. Let's do a comparison before and after. Honestly, it looks it looks great. Um, and that's one of the things I talked about in that video about Accent AI 2.0, and that is that um, compared to Accent AI 1.0, the first version that was in Luminar 2018 and in Luminar 3.0, uh, which was the most recent version of Luminar up until they just released 3.1. Anyway, that uh, previous version of the filter um, did not do as well with skin tones as Accent AI uh, 2.0 does. I think it does a great job. So let me just compare this. You can see she's a little darker, a little more in shadow. The colors don't pop as well. And now it's brightened up nicely. I think her skin looks great. Um, and in fact, um, nearly as good, honestly, as over here. Here it's a little bit smoother. Eyes are a tiny bit wider and wider or, or bigger, if you will. Um, but I mean, I think um, the whites of her eyes look good and her skin tones look really good here and really natural. In fact, I would say in photo lemur, they look a little bit, um, her skin's a little too white. Now, again, just like in luminar, you can adjust the intensity. So I could, you know, there's zero intensity and then there's 100%. I might would take it down a little bit to do something like that. But, um, you know, I think in um, luminar with Accent AI 2.0, it did a fabulous job on her skin tones. Um, anyway, so that's just a comparison. Again, it's not a, like a real head to head product to product. You can't compare them. They're so different. There's so much functionality in Luminar. In fact, there's more functionality in Luminar than there is in Lightroom um, uh, and many other products, which is why I use it so much. I just wanted to compare one filter in Luminar to the, the basic um, editing that's automatic in Photo Lemur and give you an idea of what the differences are in terms of what the images uh, look like. And I try to pick five different images that would be five different sort of light scenario, well, four different light scenarios outside. I shoot cityscapes and travel photos. And then one of a portrait thing, specifically be specifically because a lot of people shoot portraits. I don't really. Um, but I'm trying to go to some of these events where I can shoot some models and take some um, more portraits to get a little bit, uh, you know, I got to up my game, right? Um, uh, but also because Accent AI, they talk, uh, version two that is, they talk about how the skin tones are handled uh, better than in version one, which I agree and I demonstrated in that other video. And also because they have this skin and the eye and the teeth kind of thing going on over here in Photo Lemur. And so I think, um, I think it made sense to compare those two. And one more time, there she is. I think it looks really good. Um, I think it looks better actually here, even though the eyes haven't been enlarged and the teeth ha haven't been whitened. I actually think it looks a little bit better here, even at um, 100. I actually think I'd pull it down. I'd probably, I'd probably do something like 75 or whatever. Anyway, um, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, um, you know, I'm happy to help. Feel free to uh, leave a comment or uh, some feedback down below. And that ought to cover it, my friends. I appreciate you watching. Hope this comparison gave you a little bit of uh, information about uh, Photo Lemur versus the Accent AI 2.0 filter in Luminar and how they compare on real world images in different light conditions. That was my goal. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, friends. I'll see you soon. Take care and adios.